A gang member stopped during the lockdown with a baseball bat and $56,370 in his car. Said he didn't believe in banks and the cash was to buy a boat. And the bat was to play ball with his nephew. But the high court ruled it was tainted property likely obtained through meth dealing. Stephen James Wood 41, was driving a car registered to his mother with two passengers between Richmond and Motuika last April, while the country was in alert level 3 due to COVID-19. Police stopped the car and found various cell phones, a baseball bat and a tribesman gang patch on the front seat. In a bag in the boot, they found 12 bundles of cash, totaling $56,370. Last December, the police commissioner made an application that the cash be forfeited and after a hearing in the High Court in Christchurch last month, which we did not attend, Justice Gerald Nation said he was satisfied the cash had been acquired from significant criminal activity, namely the supply of meth. When questioned by police at the time, Wood said the baseball bat found behind the driver's seat was there so that he could take his nephew to the park. To play ball and the cash was for buying a boat. He refused to answer any further questions. Several days later he contacted police about the return of the cash and said he did not believe in banks and kept all his money in his vehicle. Police then obtained information showing how Wood had used various bank accounts, some for day-to-day -day banking. He was given an opportunity to explain how he came to possess the cash, but failed to show up to the Christchurch Central Police Station on a number of occasions and refused to answer questions when he did appear. The cell phones found in the vehicle were analyzed, showing the three occupants were associates who had arrangements to meet. One of the car's occupants was Karen Chapel. Karen was on bail at the time, facing a number of drugs charges for the sale and supply of meth along with the possession of meth, LSD and ecstasy. She later pleaded guilty to those charges and further charges of supplying meth and possessing Class B drug butane dial, after messages were extracted from a cell phone she had been using that was seized from the car. There were also messages from other people, attempting to obtain meth by the ounce, which would be between $10,000 and $12,000. Further messages showed Chapel offering to supply meth for $750 a gram. Justice Nation said he was satisfied that the cash found in the vehicle, which would claimed was his, could not have been legitimately derived from income and benefits. An order was made that the $56,370 cash found in the vehicle be vested with the Crown.